Not a lot. There's not a lot of light down here. You try the big flood? You want to come down and try it yourself? Of course I have it on the enders. I'm lit up like a bloody Christmas tree here. Pete! Hendrik! What was that? Uh, something to your left, low. Diving masters. Give them a video monitor and they all think... No, wait. You're right. Think we found her? Could be. Could be anything, mine. Silted like this. I'll blow some away, I think. Looks good. Yeah, we have the technology. Six million dollar man. It's on tonight. Ah, they're not repeating that again. Channel 4. Every year since 76, I swear. Well? Let it settle a moment. Looks to me like a paddle. Yeah! <laughs> you can get the blow clipper on ice, guys. That's our ship, all right. Free to like cut glass, eh? Betcha. Got us underwritten for another two million, just off the RT, till we find at least some of what's down there. Yeah. Bodies, eh? Nah, 140 years at 200 meters. Fish food, Anders. Uh, got it sorted then, boss. Two million rand. Bargain. The backers aren't fools, Pete. They know how much was aboard when she went down. Well, they have a pretty fair idea. Did you see any of it, Pete? Well, I've located a strong room. A good first move. Uh, I can make a closer search next time. How does she look? Good. Intact, more or less. You saw the monitor. Yeah. Does it look like we could think to raise her? No, nah, why bother? Strip her out and let her lay. <laughs> Where's the profit in bringing her back? She's dead, man. Long dead. What about how she found it? Any sign? Ah, come on, Enders. It's dark. Silt. All kinds of caca down there. Got my eyes on treasure, not archaeology. No clue, then, to the story. Yeah, I know. Publicity would be good for the firm, for the backers. But look, I don't see the problem. She's the Gravenhager. Sure, hey? A few bones, a lot of rand. Legend? You can keep that. Can't spend it. They'll be wanting to know, Pete. Yeah, well, what can I say? Sorry. Tell them no sign. I mean, not at the moment. She may have crossed him, she may not. Either way, she sank, eh? There might be something uh, later. i look, okay? I'm just saying, today he wasn't down there. Fleischend Hollander, he wasn't there. No? Huh? Nah, P.S. Gravenhager. She's just another wreck, like the others. No story, no legend, no flying Dutchman. Present The Flying Dutchman by Roger Danes. With Owen Teal as Willem van der Decken, The Flying Dutchman. Ah, uh, that would do, Steward. Thank you, madame. I think sometimes this is the worst of the business, that mm. one has to drink so much here. Oh, you would quite dry out if not, my dear mm. Katerina. Like leather, your skin would be inside a fortnight. <laughs> Why put it off? It's likely to happen within a year anyway. Oh, there is no certainty of that, you know. I shall work against it for myself, and so should you. A wide act and a veil is of the absolute essence. No, I have already seen too many ruined complexions among the women folk of Marcus's family. Which shouldn't stop you attempting to you avoid it. You convince me, Geneviève. Ah. And then I am too much inclined to help my husband, out and about, in every practical way possible. Oh, that hardly obliges you to destroy Believe your Believe me, my dear, I can't stay indoors shaded like a lady forever. 
a couple of summers such as this and it will be peaches and cream no longer. Ah, peaches you shall have in plenty, Frau mm. Roth, when we reach Natal. The cream might be a little more scarce in this season, unless you may be content with goat's milk. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, we were speaking of the complexion of Madame Groot. Ah, apologies. But the fool in society is not the less a magician in affairs. Even supposing you the former Meunier Lamartine, which I do not for If you please, Paul, not another financial dissertation. You do not wish to hear me? In oh, all honesty, of course we do, sir. No. Our young companion de voyage has, I think, the advantage over a mere wife. So, I will tell you. You have bought the ship. No, 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 my chère. The Gravenhager is in no danger of foundering in the depths of even my pockets. <laughs> no, no. In any case, shipping is too insecure by far an investment for a man of my years. Then what? It is a railroad. Ah, uh, no. Anything but a railroad company. Even a canal venture but would be But do you be not have any ridiculous. idea how rich this country is? Oh which Frau Groot and her estimable husband are seeking to make richer yet by supplying it with all beef cattle to fill its millions of mouths. And how vast a country it is. I have seen the charts, Paul. Think, a railroad from Durban. To where? To everywhere. To Frau Groot's own front door. To carry to her everything she needs and to take away all her cattle to the cities then multiply her farmstead by a hundred thousand. Do you see? Well, it would save the trouble of herding. <laughs> but more. There is coal, game, copper, golden diamonds for all we know. Forests, plains, felt, the birds of the air and the fishes of the sea, and all exploitable things in this Cape land that need to be taken from the one place to the other. Even you do not have capital enough for this, Paul. Perfectly so, but that is entirely the magic of business. There is on this very ship such a company of men as I have never met. There are bonds and bankers' drafts and ready money in the strong boxes and cabin trunks aboard this Kravenhager that would buy up the whole... Your pardon, Monsieur Lamartine, if you will permit, ladies. Ah, um, uh, my wife, uh, Monsieur De Witt, the second officer. Enchanté. And I, madame. Third officer only, however, I'm afraid. <laughs> ah, but we live in hope, Monsieur De Witt. <laughs> no, and this is uh, Frau Katharina Groot. Your servant, my Frau. Minier. The captain's compliments, Monsieur Lamartine. If you still wish to see the workings of the ship, I have been given the time to act as guide. Oh. The ladies, too, of course, if they would like. Thank you, no. Uh, my wife has no idea of the romance of heavy machinery. I should very much like to come with you, if that is possible. Ah, Madame Groot has a sea in her blood, as the saying runs. <laughs> Certainly, it is possible. Though, if I may warn Frau Groot, there is perhaps some danger of soiling her clothes. The engine room, in particular... Oh, only a child would be ignorant of that, David. An excellent reason for not going, if you ask me. It sounds fascinating. Oh, it is. It pounds and smokes, eats and drinks like a living thing. Ugh. And like a living thing, it creates power and fortune. Good evening, Frau. Are you taking the air? Trying to blow some of the steam and oil from my lungs. You may find it difficult. <laughs> True. There is hardly a breath of wind. Have your travelling companions deserted you? Monsieur Lamartine is taking coffee. <laughs> Madame has retired. I see. I should wish you a good evening, then. They are not my chaperones, Mignard de Vitt. No. No, I understand that. How long before we reach Durban, would you say now? Eight days now, at our present rate. And there is no good reason why that should drop. Another advantage of steam power. Oh, yes. Had we been reliant upon the wind... Uh... Have you voyaged often before? Uh, never. You must forgive my curiosity. I have not met a lady who would trail a skirt around the engine room. Interest. If you will permit me, is your husband in the marine? Uh, no, a farmer. Of course, Monsieur Lamartine said. And that the sea was in your blood. He, he exaggerates. Uh, well, I'm certainly had a reason. Uh, you must ask him yourself. I have to leave you, Mania. I am tired. Yeah, may I escort you? Uh, thank you, no. I will find my own way. Good night to you.
she went. She ran. Really? I'm intrigued by that lady. No, she is not available. Not in that way. Oh, really? No. She intrigues me, that's all. I would hazard... You asked her, huh? Nothing. Ah, you may have thought so. But I am old and French. I know, women especially. <laughs> you have asked her about her family. No. Not directly, perhaps. She will not talk about it, my friend. Not here. Not, above all, in these waters. Your meaning is too obscure for me. Mm. I should not tell you, did it? But I've had one cognac, or two more than is good for me. Our Frau Gold. She goes to join her husband, to farm, a long way from the sea. I know this. She makes no secret. She comes from an inland farming family, from Venlo, far from the sea also. Yes. Her first voyage. She has avoided the sea, consciously, all her life. She is nervous. Her family name. This farming family of hers, before she married, her name was van der Decken. The same. Direct descent. <laughs> it frightens her, David. She knows she has come to the same waters as her ancestor. Willem van der Decken. Yes, as a flying Dutchman. Captain, triggered on the end of one little rope. So, if it should snap, well then. Swing it to me gently, boys! Many a merchant captain would be more anxious. Ready to take it down, Mr. Throw it away, How many perils can there be to befall a cargo before we meet Amsterdam again? Thousands. This is nothing. Just the beginning for me. But your spice is aboard my ship, and you're concerned with it. Many a captain is not like you, Senor Van der Decken. That's well. You say so? There is only so much riches. I share ill. <laughs> it would be good business done with others like you, Senor. Just business, many a escurril. Um, there is the entry, Captain. But men here, Vilda, it says here six. As a mistake. It's been corrected. It's, it said six, but there aren't six, so it says four. Am I the master here, or the carpenter? Gentlemen. The master, Minera, of course, you are the captain. The owner of the whole vessel and cargo. Most of the cargo, certainly. Minhir Vilda, why does it say six here? It was a miscount. It was a fraud. No, captain. It was it a deception. You will pay it from your share, Minhir Vilda. I calculate it to be a theft from the cargo of 17 gold pieces. Uh, oh. That is beyond all reason. So, you may step ashore when we make Goa, if you wish it, and I shall find another carpenter. I will do that, gladly. But I will not restow all our cargo in order to find you your share. Seventeen gold pieces, I suggested. Monstrous! Speaks the man who is his own worst enemy in the matter. Well, what should he have done, Gelder? He should not have tried such a stupid, petty fraud. No fraud, mistake. Don't waste my time, Builder. If that didn't work on the captain, why try it on your fellow officers? No, it's common practice on any ship, all ships, even the prince's own. Not here. And hasn't been here van der Decken just made that clear enough to us? Roiking, if you've got any little scheme going, you'd be best advised to put a stop best to it right. Advice? Who's yours? If you like. <laughs> You're the clean-handed one in this, are you? I don't intend to tell you. Yeah. And in any case, it's a known carpenter's right. If I were you, I would just take some time to learn myself how van der Decken intends to sail this voyage. He is not going to allow normal rights of fraudulence. That's the truth. And you think 17 gold pieces, no theft from Vildescher? That captain and owner who wants to give no one else any chance to make his own way? You have your share in the cargo, don't you? You're on his side. How much do you stand to gain? You personally? I don't know. Depends on the... A hundred in gold, two, three? Well, half a fortune or three quarters? What? It depends. You know well, that. Well, whatever it is, it's nothing. While van der Decken, he's going to be a made man. His third voyage to seal his fortune for good and all. Him and his from generation unto generation. So understand this. 
he is not going to allow us to put that success in the tiniest particle of danger. Now, you're a fool, Gelda. Never sailed before with a captain who liked to play God. Because that's what it is. Play acting. Nothing whatever to do with you or me taking a piece out you're of the... You're the fool, Broikink. Van der Decken has us there. Our shares in his cargo. In his hold. He owns our souls. Until we make home. And he'll be home, 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 home from the sea. <laughs> Little Paul, you've never seen him, your father. What's he like? <gasps> He's tall, dark, your papa. Big, strong arms to take you in. Take me in. And he brings such fine things. I'm so, so far away, little man, you could not believe. In his ship, named after me, Frau Katerina. The last time we'll ever have to meet him. Sailing in at the great quay, he'll come, little Paul. The first time you'll ever. The first time to meet him, your papa. Bearer of a fortune to mean we'll never want again. And you'll not ever want to go to sea, my baby. For sometimes you know the ships only go. Frau Katerina. Home, home, home from the sea. Home, home, home from the sea. Much bearing fast upon us. Tell him! Sailed or rowed? One sail. Twenty or so pairs of oars, Captain. Guns? One. Forward mounted. No muskets, we think. You think? And one main gun each boat. What poundage? Uh, one each. Half a pound at most. If that. Do they think to frighten us with that fire? Has many a geld us the two arms? Standing two now, Captain. Get along yourself then, Messon. I shall be there. If for a ball, Captain Van der Decken regrets. Get down there, Farad! Have the gun carry below, will you? Masson, take his place at the gun! Pirates then, my head, Gelda. They have the advantage of us at Porto One and the speed with this wind. So, then you may see I do not over-provision on a whim in here. Oh, no! We have more than enough powder and shot, but men! Men enough, but they are fast, these boots. I have met with them before. That damage for is going to take a day at least to repair. It's not likely with some total either, Builder. Will you stop this fireside chatting? Are we under attack or not? We will soon be. What do you call that then, Captain? A foretaste. Do you wish to take that man's place? So, then I suggest, the Mayor Roy Kink, you get below to see that the cook's knives are sharp. Watch this if they overrun us. You fight, my dear, or you get below. You can help me, Roy King. This captain's uh, a I'd rather see to be the ground to be Lord, and look alive there! What happened when you met those boats before? We fought, we saved the ship and cargo. With what loss? Lives. They're coming in on the house! Not a one of them to board, you hear me? I'll never be able to push it back! Pilot! Captain! You take 15 men aft. If I know these Indians and I do, they'll try to board us in as many places as they have boats. Remember, Gelda, you fight to save your share. To the last of my men! If you have to! Don't 
the strength to crew them. Gun commander! Uh, four men dead here already, for God's sake! A dozen more before we push this scum back through the rail. Turn the gun, De Vries. Turn that gun on the mast. Not yours, massive, you fool! Are there none with small shots? We fire at this point and kill this party right in line, Captain! Fail to fire, Masson, and you answer for it with my ship! Too many of us down already, Captain! Not near enough! I command you, shoot! Do it! There are our own men! Do it or we'll lose everything! Save the ship! All that matters! Shoot now, Masson! And to every man left alive, I'll give fair share of the ship's fortune. Sure. You prepare to swear it? Yes. Then swear. I swear it on all the holy books by all the devils. Shoot the men down, boys. Shoot. Quiet, ask me. Hold him tight, Jacob, will you? Got him nicely. Oh, that's better. At least he won't feel anything now. But whether he lives or dies, do you expect me to tell? I'm a cook, near, not a physician. <laughs> and while we're about this purser broikink, there's another cask of fresh water stove in. And a port one spoiled. Oh, damnation. There. Jacob, throw that with the rest. Just to quarterize the leg and then we're done. Well, as you might say, he certainly is. Here we are, Philion. Oh, some left over. We'll have the carpenter take it to finish his corking, eh? <laughs> Waste not, want not. Commendable attitude, and a new one. Mm, new since four hours ago, Mania. It came over me, as you might say, at the exact moment our captain and Oda gifted us fair share. The devil he did. You wouldn't be here to help me now if he hadn't, believe me. A fool. I know my share, all right. And how can you know what the ship holds? We're not so low. Who stowed the cargo? Us. Without any interest, as you might say before, but now... Bloody fool, promise. Well, well, you'll have to take that up with Van der Decken. Our brother committed to the deep till you rise again from the sea on the last day, in fulfillment of God's word. That only leaves the offcuts. Is there a form of words for the burial of lost limbs at sea? <laughs> no more than for those scummy pirates. Well, official have done well. Better than you will, as you might say. <laughs> Don't fancy catching any for a while, eh? <laughs> so, silence! The captain there! It may be you expect me to tell you how brave was our defence of our ship. It'd be a start, wouldn't it? I don't feel it to be any necessity. Well, thank you for that then, Captain. Quiet, you. I observed you. Men fight to save themselves. To save what they possess. Myself as bad as you. Ungrateful bastard. You think, perhaps, I don't recognize the turning point. Any of you. The moment at which we... I correct myself. At which you began to fight back with effect. I know the moment, the promise made, and then you were fighting for your own. I gave you that, because you thought your lives not worth it, the effort. I don't think we're not grateful. But I have to tell you, there is a cost. Here we go, don't tell us. You are now bound to me, to the ship, to the cargo. Yes, your shares, as you never were before. You shall discover what it is to hold that responsibility. Almost as if you were gentlemen. What? Like the officers here? <laughs> like Gelder and Broiking, yeah. <laughs> Snouts in the trough then, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Silence, you bastard gentlemen. We have voyaged before most of us together. And this time the last. We make home port, we are made men, all of us. Or we are all lost. We all have lost. How much? More than I know. Are you the purser, Broiking? You know, when the captain and owner and merchant adventurer are all embodied in the one suit of fine clothes on land, that's one thing. But here, yeah, not so good. 
The autocrat, that's our problem. Oh. Too much the god of his own world. What puzzles me, you know, can you trust this? to a god's promise? There was no figure mentioned, you know. Oh, Ooh. you live by numbers, Frambos. No, no, the clerk is right. There was no word of an amount to the men's fortune. Is that strange? That Vanderdecken offered only fair share? Promised is the fact of the promise. You weren't we there, Vilda. No more were you. Under fire at the stern whilst Vanderdecken had the guns turned against you. How many men of ours? Four. We can hardly spare, that's what. And he ordered them shot down. We can pick up more at any next port. Practicality. And if another man dies of Villon's butcher surgery, well, we can replace another man. And then will those men get a share? Will the labourer be worthy of his hire? Any share they get comes part from ours, remember? And to what proportion of the whole? None. None. How? It cannot be. Hmm? It cannot. Have you heard the men talk since the fight? <laughs> talk? <Yeah. laughs> I should say. If I've had one ask for arithmetical help, I've had a dozen. Gelder, they have no notion of anything else. I know it. And each of them has another idea of what his figure is to be for his share. Fools that they are. I don't think that of them. Mistaken. You suggest they've been lied to. That sorts with the rest, doesn't it? Uh, no, no. A promise made. This is simple, simple. They would not fight, so they were given heart. And then they stood their ground like men, mm. like men of property who beat off the robbers. That is how it was. Yeah. Uh, no, not how it was. A captain doesn't make such promises. Exactly so. Oh. A captain does not make such promises. Yes. Van der Decken's sermon, even at the burial of the dead. It must be. He thinks of it as an exhortation only, no promise. God spoke to his people, spurred them on. And that is all. And they smote the evildoer. Now, I ask you this. Can it be that God now sees himself under obligation to his people? Oh, perhaps he should. Does he, though? Yeah. No. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, what is to be the men's share? You know. Nothing. But, but Van der Decken swore it. He swore it by himself. For he is God. So, I am to set down another death in this book. I cannot say I had any expectation he would live. Uh, we have those men still, Captain. A hand, a facial hurt, and a crushed chest. But living? Well, yes, but... Uh, Until Jan can care for them. Until we make port. So. Yes? Pilot. Captain, I have finished the calculation. This is our position. But, yes? We have already passed by Madagascar, if that is so. And it is so. He should have put our wounded men ashore there. But we have already passed it by. At Veneer van der Decken's order. But we should have. And pick new crew, which we need, and stores. We have enough. Men or stores? Both. And the Cape of Storms to round before we replenish either. You plan that? You have some objection, Minher Persa. We have to pass the Cape before May. Without touching land before. It is necessary. It is reckless. Oh, perhaps then you would care to suggest a course, which might bring us safe here within a month. Minia, Captain, you know I... There is no such course, Broikink. You see? The men, the stores. The ship, the cargo. It is the safety of both which concerns me. Good. We go on. We go on. Shall we guess where your papa may be, shall we? In his ship. Two strong masts as tall as tall. Sails of white, white against the grey, blue, green. But so tiny a boat on the great flat face of the world. Like a blackberry stain on your mouth, little scamper. Get up still while I wipe it away. Like our tears. 
There. Gone. All gone. Another one gone. Gut that, Jacob. I'm sure we'll be tossing the healthy ones over the side soon. Mad driven bastard that he is. Brilliant! There's another one of them. <laughs> Brilliant! Am I your servant? Probably reckons he could pay twice over, cooking pots and all. You being a galley rat and him the fine deckhand gentleman these days. Brilliant, where are you? Masson can kiss my ass. <laughs> I'll ram one of your bloody pans up it, cook, if you don't show yourself smart to my next call. My dear Masson, a fine morning to you. Keep it, there's only one thing I'm after from you. Oh, it's fish again at the menu. And fresh, better than salt, eh? I want your debt, cook. Repaid? I need it for Rykart. Ah. Oh. You've not been gaming with him. You mug! You lost my debt to Riker, you knock-kneed son of an Abyssinian whore! How can I make it back from you now? That's not my worry, is it? It bloody is, Masson, because I don't have it. I'll cut it out of you then, you little shit! Don't oh, 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 threaten me! Oh. What the hell's going on oh. here? Is this a galley or slaughterhouse, for God's sake? Doubles us both, uh, Minnie, doesn't it? Are you so short of a fight, Bullion? Uh, like me to whistle up some more Gurney's uh, pirates, would you, so you can take this to them? He started it. Get up, my son. Uh, uh, get up! Oh, shit. He just came at me. He wanted money. That's right, Minnie Gelder. Gospel. Wouldn't did, take no for an answer. Did you owe him? Cards. You haven't got any money. None of you have. I except perhaps Reichart. That's just what I told him, isn't it? So what were you playing for? Well? They were all playing the same. For their shares. What about you then, Jacob? Uh, uh, uh. Holding on to what's mine, I am. Only prudent, wouldn't you say? I can't tell them it's not like that. But look, if somebody doesn't, they'll tear each other and the ship to pieces. Gaming money they'll never get. Rather, they suffer than us. Because if you do tell... And since van der Decken won't put to shore, that doesn't make them any quieter, does it? But this way, they're occupied at least. Most of the time. And for that, half of me says it's right to push on. That's the half that talks to the captain, right, pilot? It has value from us. Before winter properly sets in, go hard ahead for the Cape of Storms. But the other half of me says we'll be lucky to have crew enough left to take us round it. Right, even without a real blow. More to the point is we all need our time in port. The men need a rest. They need a shag. You mean you do. <laughs> <laughs> but you know Van der Decken. Never a one for enjoying himself on land. Not away from home anyway. What? Not even first voyage? Not even. Three times now I've sailed with him. Always the same. Worse than ever this one, if anything. Never known it. Not of any captain. What is the man? Pure or something? Chaste? Clean like a religious. Yes, of the holy office. You want to be wary of such types, inquisitors. From the depths of your experiences, eh? See this, Vilda? <laughs> Look, Gelder, half right you may think him, but Van der Decken's not to be suffered to take us round the Cape without new stores at least. You want to tell him that? Oh, somebody has to. There's the companionway. So... But what sanctions do you think to bring against me? Oh, well, it's not a question of sanctions, Minier. No? You know that will be close to mutiny. Yes, I do. But nonetheless, you will not ignore our reasons, our request to make a landfall before we attempt the cape. I will not ignore your reasons, nor your request, Minier Broiking. Ah, then uh, here is the estimate of the chambery needed. And food and water. So... I wondered if it were possible that you should mistake my meaning. Clearly it is. We are then to continue as we are. That is my decision. But the carpentry... Is the Vrouw Katerina not sound, Vilda, in your opinion? Oh, for the moment, but I cannot... You see, it. we go on. We still have wounded men. They still live. They must then be adequately cared for. And the food and water are barely enough. But they are enough. Barely. But enough. Captain, for mercy's sake. I will make this plain to you, my officers, and then no more. Talk of mercy. I do not understand your sentiment. It's not what? sentiment. Don't interrupt it's me, Wilder. Our fortunes altogether ride in this ship. With us. How few men ever can know this control of their own destiny. As we have. And do you not see we have a right to that power? We have defended no less than everything from piracy. And shall risk it again to round the Cape of Storms. But less risk with a fresher crew. No, Menier Frambos. You are too green to know it. 
Delay now puts us more, not less at hazard. How long at anchor do you suggest, Broikink? Two weeks, perhaps. Two weeks to pitch us right into the winter storms. Is that less risk? We could ride out the winter in a safe bay. So we could. Do you wish to voyage all your life, Gelder? I have a baby son. I will not wait. And it is not right that he should wait for my officers to dip their pricks into port whores. I have work. Yeah. Well, we go on, it seems. Do we? Do you see any alternative? Outside of mutiny? We may get to that, yet. You'd have to be tired of living so drastic an action, when all we want is the vrow to put into harbour. All right, Gelder, you think of something. What is it, Jacob? Captain's calling for you. He's gone out of his mind once you're at once. Drink, is it? I wish to God it was. All he does is yell, pilot, pilot, and offers to stab me if I don't get you down to him at once. Doesn't sound too good for me. What set this off? Captain says the almanac's gone. I can't be. It can't be gone. So, then where is it? It's been moved. Why? For some purpose, I don't know. It just must have been. Did Jacob clean here this morning? It was here. The big book, where it always is. I never touched it. And this is a trick. This is a ruse, Gelder. This is one of your manoeuvres, isn't it? This is a misplaced almanac. Then where is it? Where? I don't know. You have use of it every day, morning, noon, and every... I am your pilot. And now it has gone. The ship's almanac. Misplaced, mislaid. Stolen? Who would steal it? It's got no worth outside the ship. Exactly. It has no value. Therefore, it has not been stolen. So, it has been taken. By whom? I never laid a hand on it, I swear! Not by you, Gelder. I use it day by day. What possible gain for me to move it? Then by Breutnik. Ask him. Wilder. Ask him. Frambus. Ask him. De Vries, Villiern, Masson, the whole Ask them, ask them all. I'll search a whole bloody ship, why don't you? Do you care that it's found, Mia Gelder? Search my berth, first of all. And mine. I wouldn't find it. Would I? I can't see how. Since you don't have it. I don't have it. Then we will search. Do you think me ignorant of what you do? No one has done anything, Captain. You believe that by hiding the ship's almanac you can force me to put into safe harbor for you. Bend me to your will. In the first place, the almanac... You will not do it. it. We go on. You will not make me... But without an almanac... You will not make my wife wait one moment longer for we me. We cannot navigate. I want to see my son. If we lose the time to of sunrise... To see Katerina. The time of sunset. To see my little Then we Paul. cannot take the cross-day measurements. My God. And we won't know where we my are. My God, how I want to go home. So, well, it will turn up. What? Captain, it is not on the ship. How can it just turn up? When we've all searched it out in vain all over the Frau Katerina. How does a bloody great almanac just turn up, for God's sake? How does it go missing? By the same hand, she'll bring it back, my near Gelder. It's not possible. It might be we could acquire another. Oh, we could, we could, yes. Yeah. Since we know our present position. For certain? I can calculate it. Then plot a course for the nearest port. Back. And get a new almanac there. No. I have said. Always said we do not turn back. Not even for this. This is mad. The madness pilot was that which stole our almanac. No seaman would do that. Nobody who No seaman it. would imperil his ship, his fellows. To steal our almanac is to lose our place beyond madness. But we cannot then go on without it. Yet you say it will turn up. And it will, since we shall go on. How can that be? Who stole the book took it to force us to turn for land. We do not turn, so there is no sense in keeping it. But this is the greatest madness of all. How do you know, pilot? Things won't come right just because you refuse to beg van der Decken. The man who took it knows you. He will not give in. You will not. And so... How do you know? I know. You stole it. I will not tell you. You stole our place on the chart. The man whose place it was to find us. Our pilot. Is this true? I will not tell oh, you. Gilda. Where is the almanac? I will not. <coughs> Don't you dare say you won't tell me. Captain. Oh, let go of it. here. Well, you made a hand Find the deck out. It's an officer's quarrel, isn't it? You Shut took it? Up. Where is it? Gelda! Tell him, man, for God's love. Tell him. The deck out. Nothing to do with us. No. Quickly, get them apart. It's gone. Do you tell me so? I destroyed it. Let it go, Captain. Oh, my dear Van der Decken. In the sea. It's gone, Van der Decken. It was. Try these men apart, will you? Not a captain. 
Oh, oh, your hope to round the cave of storms in the sea. In the sea? In the sea. Then join it. Ah! Well, for summary justice, that was summary justice. <laughs> What's this? Hot oh, cheese. Philip, be grateful, Masson. You'll need it come dawn. These reasons, villain. Or have the rats been in the fire again? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. God help us. Need that we do as well. A very present help in time of trouble. Shut up. Oi, in the last extremity, even a cook shall remember his god. A cook, yeah. What else has a poor cook got to look to, as you might say? What about your fortune, then? Stop your mouth. Oh, and plead for my silence. You've done enough damage there to everyone's pocket, Rykar. You want to go for the real prize? Take on the officers. Oh, they're likely to game with me, aren't they? I don't think so. But I'll play you lot for your new shares, if you like. What new shares? Many a gelder won't be wanting his now, will he? Oh, away with you, Rykart. I've calculated it all out. Ha, it'll be all coppin'. No, oh, I've seen him and the ship's clerk had it over their sheets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take it back, cook, or I'll make you eat your own shit for a change. Calm it down there. <laughs> did Minia Frombu say yes or no about these shares, then? Or did he just help you with the figures? Did the figure in all for him, more like? No, it didn't say. But I know. You don't know, squit. Well, when I've had all your fame fortunes off you by the time we make Amsterdam, you'll be lost. Laughing... make you back home. Oh, that's certain, that. Hugging the coastline like we was some wet nurse baby hanging on a tit. Only safe way, isn't And it? if we find ourselves drawn into a lee shore, as we will, especially when we're past the Cape. Got to get round it yet, Masson. And that won't be any laughing party. They sit up there, the mid-ears, push us halfway around the world. And for what? Yeah, I know. If we lose the shoreline, though, things will be a deal worse. Bloody right. Yeah, well, there's a strong enough chance of that, isn't there? First blow we get. Either the old vow smashes herself to bits on the rocks over there, or it's off over the wild horizon there, and ever a hope of finding out where we are. Because why? Because that fat-ass son of a brothel cleaner's dog screwed all of us good and proper when he took that almanac from right out the pock shaky fingers of him who calls himself master of this plague ship. You finished. Take it away. It makes me want to spew my guts. You've left the best bit. And what's that, the bowl? <laughs> oh, bastard. <laughs> Tough. It's the best any of us will get till we make Table Bay. Speed the day. Amen. Till then, what do you say to a game? I'd oh, say so you could stick your cards you up Minnie Wilder. Captain's word, stop your dinner. Oh, pleasure. He wants every man on deck. We've got to batten down. There's a real blow coming. How long to wear? Yeah. Every man on deck. Move yourselves in. We have to be well Because uh, if we're not sure of speed, it'll hit us hard. Yeah, before even we have our boots on. Minnie Wilder! Come in! Those men to the top yard! Get that main topsail away! You men! What do you say, Masson? Hell yeah, Masson! Yes, Captain! Put the sail down if you have to! Help me! 
Catch the gun before it smashes us to pieces! Hello! That's right, Clark! You may! A sheet from the men's there! Fast! Cut it away! Oh, Pink! What have you all made up to? Help! Here! I need all the hats I have! See to your own cannon, Velma! Where's the breeze? Where's the master gunner? The breeze! It's his job, right? He can do it! You take the other end of this sheet and all up, will you? Velma, with me! I will not lose the Vrau, Katarina. I tell you. You tell me nothing. You mean you take no advice? I need none. But you murdered the pilot who dared give you it. I am now the pilot and captain. And pilot! You have lost your ship and captain the same. You shall see if I have lost my ship builder, Broikink, all of you. Well, bring us safe by your own hand, will you? Why not? Have I not thus far? This is safe. I will do it by my own hand, by my will. Pilot and captain and master and owner, I will. Then bid the storm cease, for you surely think yourself God. There is no God else. I am the measure of God in this storm, and I will bring my ship safe. You cannot do it! You swear ill, Van de Decker. I swear this by myself. We voyage safe, whole, sound. We make passage of this cape of storms. Come what may, I swear it by my own name. Van de Decken, come what may. Safe to our loved ones, safe home, though it take us till the wreck of time. Voilà, ma chérie. Ah, merci. Ah, que c'est bon. Ah, my dear Frau Groot. Monsieur Lamartine, is it you? Well, certainly it is. If it were not, I should want to call out the other gentleman who held my wife's hand. I meant, is it you who has been spreading word about me? Oh, what can you mean, dear Katharina? Sit. Sit. Thank you. And allow me to order you a shower. I have already. And I should be angry with you, monsieur. Yes, you are quite right. I, I cannot deny that. In all fairness, no. Uh, will somebody tell me? Uh, Fagot, uh, will you? Briefly. My friend, your husband, has let it generally be known that I am descended from my ancestor. Oh, I knew this. But I had it from... That um... is precisely my complaint. The entire ship is in possession of my story. And it has clearly passed from mouth to mouth until in full circle it has come back to Envy after you. <sighs> Well, I I take the blame upon myself, my dear Frau Groot. Then I wish you could take too, Monsieur Lamartine, some of the notoriety which has accrued to me. Ah, uh, that I uh, regret. Uh, no, but this is petulance we did not look for in you. And indeed it has no reason. I think I must be the best judge of that. You have a story, my dear, with a capital S. Well, not to be wondered that. On a long voyage like ours, a, a young woman becomes known to be connected to a legend. Uh, of course, her bored fellow travelers grapple to her celebrity like uh, drowning men. I do not like to be paraded as a curiosity, like a circus animal. Well, you may be sure the idle fascination of the hour will fade away, and within a short time, too. On the contrary, dear Genevieve, it increases with the days, and will continue. 
The steerage passengers have it now. It is no amusement to me to be speculated upon by the type of person who might end up working for my husband. But why should it so aggravate? Because, ma chérie, we daily come nearer to the waters. Hmm? You can imagine, if you will, the sort of talk. The Dutchman's descendant returns to the haunt of that infamous ghost. Oh, but it is a myth, surely. Myth? Are there no histories in your family? Oh. Passed from mother to daughter, generation to generation. My family are of the most respectable Lille society. Do you suggest madame? it is disreputable to tell stories? To hold a tradition? Dear Madame Groot, we wish we were half so interesting. That is all. I apologize. I am suffering a degree of celebrity. Many would give their souls for such a celebrity. Many have. You could almost think it worth it. What's that? What? You said it was almost worthwhile. So, isn't it? On my life, Van der Decken, I hardly know. We've lost a deal of men, I can say that. The few were to share our fortune, then. But look, Broeking. You see, normality. We survived. We repaired. The voyage goes on. And we run well at the moment. Better in some ways than before. I will tell you. That pilot, I forget his name. Gilda? Yes. I think he was not so good a seaman. I think he held us back. Maybe. Now, you see, the storm has shaken the cobwebs from our sails, Broikink. We fly. So... Home soon. Oh, I long for that. You have a family? Do you miss them? You know I do. Will you sail again? After? Well, I, I don't expect to be so well fortuned as you. Then you will not quit the sea? Not yet a while. So. Shall we make for harbor then? Oh, we shall need plenty. Isn't that true? We have some shortages. I. I think Builder's carpentry stores are rather depleted, at least. We shall put into the nearest port. Be sure of it. Which is that? Black Vanden Cup. Oh, good. All we need there. That pilot. He could not have told you that. Not like that, without warning and a half day puzzling his charts. When will we make landfall? Two days' time. That Gelder, he was not so good as he claimed, I think. No, indeed. <laughs> I have it all calculated. Times, sunrises. Sunset's enough to carry us back to Holland. I will have them overseen by Frambos when he's well enough to figure. Well, he's already recovered enough. Oh, no sense in troubling him before he may be ready. We shall study them at his ease when we ride safe into Table Bay. Broikink, I know I am right. I know I was right. Perhaps we've not made the headway we thought. Has someone retied the knots in the lead string? Mm. We have made the captain's own speed every day. I have refigured every one of Mynheer van der Decken's almanac calculations, and I can find no error. Because there is no error, yet we are not where we must be. We cannot be losing by night what we gain by day, can we? The sun rises every morning over our stern lantern, the same as ever it does, Wilder. Does the wind veer just before dawn and back again just after sundown by the bowsprit? Yet the land we run towards is never sighted, though we sail for it all and each day. There is no reason. Well, certainly I can see none. Nor I. Well, I'm just a carpenter. But look, if every measurement I took proved wrong when I cut the wood, I'd look to the rule I relied upon. The rule of this ship, Wilder, is as it ever was, the same. Are they all sick or what? Just not hungry. Don't know why. <laughs> I'm finding it myself, just don't want to eat so much anymore. Perhaps it's the air or something. Certainly isn't seasickness. We're running silk smooth after the storm. Must be Vilda's repair work better than usual. But, you know, if it weren't for that, I mean, how everything goes so well, we should normally be worried, shouldn't we? Why? Look, do you want a drink here, Jakob? Oh, I'm not thirsty. Oh, all right. He sighted land! Yeah, harbour at last! Oh, well. Another ship. Oh, first since that pirate attack. What do you think? More? 
Sharpen the knives, spread the sawdust, then we'll see. We have the guns all charged, William van der Decken, just in case. We shall not need them, mess. See her rig? She's a Hollander. Hilda! An air! Bound for Amsterdam. And you, what are you? Please, lad, Captain Van Hool, bound for Madagascar. And you take post for us. Can we? They'd better hang on to their letters. Chances are at our rate, Friesland will be back home before us. Where is your captain, Friesland? Here! We agreed to take your letters. In exchange, we need a bearing from you. A bearing? We have lost our track. Do you say you don't know where you are, Frau Katerina? A confirmation only. I can just about feel the suspicion now aboard that vessel. But you know you're at sea, at least. <laughs> our pilot has been gravely sick. That's an understatement and a half, as you might say. And haven't you any man else who knows how to plot a course? <laughs> Humorous son of a whore, isn't he? Come on, Messon, why don't we fire off a couple of that scow? Captain Van Hool, do you wish your post embarked or not? I think we'll keep it. We have our doubts. You may not make Amsterdam, sailing as you seem to be. <laughs> My compliments to you, Captain Van Hool. We shall make home and Holland before you, be sure of it. When you're past the Cape Brown, Katerina, you make free with such boats. Are we not round it already? Then where have we been sailing this past month? He's wrong, he's wrong, Van Hoel. Doesn't know his own charts, does he? Do you say we're not round the Cape of Storms? The whole way still to sail! Bloody idiots! Freelanders by name and nature! Scout full of toad! Away and tear your asses, yes! Gas buckets! Silence! Silence, you men! Booking the helm! I have it, Captain! Now, Katarina, hold your course and distance! Massive, wake up, Dijon! You've there! Oh, we've got them talking for right there, Captain! Oh, oh, she's she's gone, gone, are we? We're going, we shall be going into those... Oh, we're being taken, Major Deckard! Oh, I'm oh, oh, you! Mind the she bears, I've got no help! We're going to hell! Keep you back, Fro, Katarina! Back away, men, there! Good day to you, Mynheer Captain Van Hool. All sail! Make way at once! I never thus saw that before in my life. She passed straight through. Never a scratch upon her. Christ! You'd have given me odds against that, Masson, wouldn't you? Never a man of order who wouldn't. Mynheer Broking, the helm if you please. Already taken out, Captain! Mynheer Vilna! Let the top sails go there! Damn, Van der Did you ever see that, Broking? You asked me. A collision like that in a clean path through the other ship? I have read of such. Ah, all sailors' tales. I never thought to have met with one. And it was that, do you believe? What else? <laughs> a tale for my son, do you think? How my brave Frau Katerina ran across a true, a real phantom ship? <laughs> 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 oh, well, Rose, Frau Cruz. You are letting me win. It is the company's policy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, bad. I think that's your game. For one minute, other week. Flattery. Well, to say truth, I owe it to you. I know. Will you walk? Your servant. I feel almost like your bodyguard at times. It's not so bad now. Idle people no longer stop to talk so much. 
But I am watched. You bear it well. You have kept your distance, I perceive. I got little encouragement that evening when I unwittingly launched this business. Not that I don't understand that. We are very close now, aren't we? To those waters? Yes. Kravenhager steams perhaps four miles to what would have been one, the best, in your ancestors' time. How far we have progressed, and he so little. You believe in it? But he's still here. What did you learn, Meneer de Viet, at your grandmother's knee? That the world is round, that cows give milk? Goats. That spring follows winter, and today's children have it so much easier than in the old days when everything was better. Oh, all that. Self-evident truths. She told me lies, too, my grandmother. If you made a face and the wind changed. That, and the bogeyman. Sea serpents. Which ate up whole ships. Mermaids. She told me about the Flying Dutchman. So did my grandmother. Did yours lie to you? I don't know. Mine didn't. Well, that's different. It's your family. Then doesn't that answer your question? Do I believe in him? How could I not? Here. I noticed it before. From your husband? No. It was given to his wife. Another Katerina van der Decken. The last one, eleven generations ago. This was given to the Dutchman's wife? After his second voyage. It was the last thing she had of him. After even he'd given her the baby. Before he left that last morning. Silver. Charming. He was to make it gold when he came home. And it opens for a picture? A piece of the Holy Cross. There. And is it real? She believed in it. Uh, but then, how many other claimed relics are there? She believed he would come home, too. And you? Despite all evidence to the contrary? I won't let myself get into Katerina van der Decken's position. You do believe in it? All, don't you? She lived with it every day of her life. A souvenir to keep raw the wound of his desertion. So, why do you wear it? As a reminder of... It was given me as a child. An heirloom, then? I am the first to have worn it. Since her? Oh, surely not. It was always meant to go to an eldest daughter of the Van der Decken name. There has been none before me. The odds against that? Ten generations of boy children. <laughs> well... You are special, Frau Groot. Frau Katharina. Have you fared no better than ever, Minia Broikink? There. Are your letters. Never a ship prepared to take them. And there never will be, Captain. Do you realise that? You should have offered them more. We have enough. Your only answer, isn't it, ever? Will you not understand, Van der Decken? They all fly from us. See how that one sets her every sail now. You might offer the world twice over, and you would not buy one single letter passage home. Will our families ever hear from us? Oh, I doubt that very much. And our position breaking. Oh, ask him. Do you think he doesn't know? The same. We sail, we sail, we sail, and never near a home by one minute of one degree. Yet we will come there. Oh, as you have sworn, Captain. Till when must we wait? Can you figure that? Till time founders? So I will remake the calculations, since that is what you wish. We have figures already with calculators around the globe. But we have no one can tell us what they mean and why. Because our pilot is dead. The old story. You took everything to yourself. It is mine to take. No, never that. It is my ship. Our ship. Mine. All right. Our every misfortune is then your responsibility. They call us damned. Who? Oh, that ship now runs so fast from us. I heard it. The first time. It 
has been said today to my face. That we are damned. It is not so! That other ship, remember? The Friesland? That phantom. She who passed through us. She is not to be feared, Broiking. She is past harming us and past harm. Past harm, yes. She was lost. As I say, old myths of ghost ships. Tales for a smoky gun room on a dark watch. Stories to seduce a cabin boy or the tavern crawling whores in harbour. Even so, I never thought of a met with such a ship. And so you have met with one. And so, shall we find you a mermaid, Minier Carpenter? Or a sea serpent that you may tell your grandchildren the full canon of adventure? It was not her. The Phantom, the Friesland founded with all hands, not a day after we met her. After Van der Decken, not before. Stories. The half dozen other ships we've come upon since. Braganza? First. Never seen thereafter. They told you this before even they refused passage for our letters. Maria de Lisboa. Smashed wood, torn canvas, not a soul lived. Marigold. Never made port. Zigoyne. Farando. Albrecht von Bremerhaven. None of them. Oh, my captain. Stories. Oh, do you think I just want to entertain you? You don't scare me, at least. Yet it's a wise man who knows when to frighten. The phantom ship. Friesland. Ships that pass without collision on the same water. My precious soul. A true story it may be. Men who eat nothing, drink no more. And we who sail on but nowhere. So I will take new readings. You will not read this, Van der Decken. Friesland never passed through us. We pass through her! It makes no odds. It is the Frau Katharina, the phantom ship! Not my ship, Broeking. It is we are the damned, Van der Decken! And it's all his doing. Well, if ever man deserved it, it was my near captain. Oh, yes, William. And us? Where does that leave us? Who might have expected to get home safe with maybe a little money in our purse? Not that extreme an ambition, do you think? Well, he's cheated us all, the Fries. Good and proper. And you'd be the one to spot a cheater, I yell. Ah! <laughs> I let go, will ya? Put him down right now. That's the answer. Please, I can't. What answer? <sighs> you bloody maniac. That'll bruise up some, as you might say. Let's have Musson say his mind, shall we? If he thinks he can solve the business. The knife. Who oh, for? Who else? Van der Decken. It's like raising hand against... You know. Not like, Jacob. It would be... Mutiny. You know what the penalty for that is? Nothing. You need only do it properly. And will that make it better? Why not? Kill the mad bastard who keeps us voyaging nowhere. But how shall we then find our way to port? <laughs> he may not know. But no more can we... Follow another ship. Simple. Cripple. When each we run across flies under all sail from You're the us. gun captain. You stop one for us. Yeah, from your chair, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Make him our escort. Oh, easily done, Masson. You able-bodied men. It is easy. The hard part is the first. Just hand over to Masson your knives then, Minnie Cook. I don't have the right. What? The right? I've never trusted men who talk of mutiny. What? Don't you hold with it? Most of it was always only talk. And what wasn't, I've never heard of to come goodies all. Don't expect good of it, Villian. It's to get our own back. All right. Which of you will do this? Play you for it. Oh, too much cloud. Even for the Southern Cross. As if it were there. Find the Deckard. Must not him alone. Captain. And Reichardt, not your watch? No, it isn't. Is it? So? Don't you wonder where they are? No. I can see Villian. And Jacob? Any others? All of them. And what do you call this? Summary justice! Don't die like you called it. 
summary justice. <laughs> For blood. Hi. <laughs> no. Where is it? <laughs> you can't even mutiny. <gasps> You have me with you for all this voyage, Menhirs. Did you do your work, Fulgian? Oh, yes. All of you. He can't be. I am. You cannot do me any hurt, nor destroy. I am as you are. Phantom. And you are the damned. Not be held responsible. Did anyone see you who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Paul, I've read it. You may nerve the voice with his anery, you say. Oh, j'arrive, j'arrive, ma chérie. Give me a few minutes. I shall wait you all in the salon, then. Madame has a point. Such a mist may settle upon the lungs quite easily. Mm. Is it not unseasonable? Summer fogs in these waters. Not really. <laughs> ah, il n'y a plus de saison, as we say. A wind of any kind will disappear this quick as you like. Until then, obviously, we must go quarter speed. Not that there's much likelihood of meeting an oncoming. I trust the wait we shall not be greatly delayed. Can a day or so mean that much to you, Monsieur Lamartine? Oh, I hope we have not been companions this voyage, my dear Frau Katharina, without your apprehending the essential nature of time to the man of business. I understood. Money. That, certainly. Oh, no, 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 you mistake. Capital you could get, lose, borrow more, spend that and start again from every crash. But time you cannot get again. One life. That would seem to be the normal allegation. Ah, but used wisely, it should be enough. One chance in 11 generations. Frau Groot. I'm cold. Ah, you must come inside. Uh, there is coffee in the salon, and my wife no, could have... You lost your colour, Frau Katerina. Are you finding difficulty in breathing? I, I will be all right. No, I think you should leave the deck, at least. Ah, Genevieve is perhaps not mistaken in her concern. Please, please. please gentlemen. Oh, come, let go of the rail. No, let go, my dear Frau Wood. Do you hear it? Another ship. Don't concern yourself, though. There is no danger, for all she cannot see us. You see, the bridge has heard, too. The foghorn. The officers know their trade. Do you think I fear that? I assure you, there is no chance of accident. Please, let go the rail and let us go inside, yes? No. No, I cannot move from here. Well, you should. Now, calm. Now, calm down now. You really should leave the deck. I shall find the ship's doctor. Yeah, you would do well to warn uh, my wife, David. And um, uh, bring a wrap. Uh, tell her. I will do that first, then. And my lozenges. Uh, Monsieur Lamartine. This is not, is it? I don't know. You have no asthma that we know of. Now, calm now. But it is not that you are cold, for it is not cold. Is this mesmerism you are trying? My dear Frau Katharina. <laughs> A wind. The mist will clear, you see? Just as it was foretold. Now, Frau Katharina, now, please, come to me. Captain, the chart needs repair. Again? We have pricked it into holes deeper than the ocean. And all in the one place. Perhaps this ship. What will she tell us but that we know? The log. Here. Last entry. There. It's not kept up, Minheer Frambois. No, it isn't. So this will be our... Come. Our 52nd meeting. Well, Yakov. Minervilda's compliments are shit. We hope to. Let him go through the motions. So, where from this ship for the log? I'm Port of Amsterdam. A countryman. What is our country, Frambois? Only here. Amsterdam. 
the name. Chavanaga. Sacré nom de Dieu. A rig. Clear, two centuries old. Oh, you're up, my dear Frau Groot. Let me arrange it. There. Let me look. You are looking, my dear. We all are. Let me look. I have never seen anything like this ship. Yet she is fully rigged. Almost pristine. A curiosity for a museum, I must say. Uh, Monsieur de Witt, are they preparing to put out a boat? Yes, it would seem. Smartly done, too. They have done this many and many a time. I wonder what she might cost, if it were possible to bid. She would not be for sale. Oh, you are remarkably certain. I know her. What? A ship you can never have seen. She is my ship. Oh, come, my dear young lady. I tell you, she is my ship. She bears my name. Of course. Oh, but you have never voyaged before. You cannot know this. I person. have carried her with me all my life. My God, I know her too. Oh, Frau Katarina is not well, I think. The dam. Monsieur Lamartine, a word, if you please. Frau Katarina is not well. The truth. Uh, your app has slept, my dear, alone. Oh, it. you are as agitated as she is. What is wrong with a pair of you? Look, you must either contrive to get her away or at least have Dr. Nyssen warned about her condition. What condition? Why business for the ship's doctor, for the love of heaven? That is her ship. Do you not realize it? Oh, I think so. Sweet savior. This is a waking nightmare. But there, there would be a panic uh, if the passengers... I, I know. I must get to the captain. He must realize, Lamartine. We dare not even talk to that crew for our lives. But uh, our Frau Katharina... Yes, he must get her away. That's why it is her ship. She may lose ours and us with a single word. Hold there! Kavanhaga! Where are you bound? Pull harder, you men. There's a spell running. Pull harder, I Pull harder if we can, Minia Pesabroikik. Will you permit me to board, Kavanhaga? I have a package of letters, if you would take them. You must keep your boats a cable's length of us, if you please. <laughs> Same as ever. As if we were a plague ship. Oh, worse. <laughs> silence in the boat there. Are they all white-faced with fear, or what? I said silence, Matson. Save your breath to row. What is your captain, Rabenhaga? Captain Freezing! And you... What is your ship? Rao Katarina! Rao Katarina? My is ship. That Come what away. Captain Vanderdecker! Come away, my dear father. Leave hold of me! Keep that you back, Rao Katarina! Rao Katarina! To me! To me! Here! She will not let go of the rail! She's you in the boat there! My name is Breukink! Where's her Breukink of the Frau Katarina? Oh, do not speak to them, I beg you! The ship's doctor! Doctor Wilson, where is he? Who are you, Mena Frau, that you can claim to know me? I am your ship! What? Just as I feel. It would be best not to continue this conversation. You are my ship. Please let us pass. My name is your ship's name, Frau Katarina. Thank God, it's not Dr. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you would have the goodness to leave the deck, there is nothing to see here. Uh, this is the young lady. Please, Doctor, administer something at once. Leave me be. I will speak to my men. Katarina Van der Decken! I am! My dear Frau Groot! Katarina Van der Decken! You cannot be Frau Katarina! Oh, it is not possible! But it is so! Now, now, Frau Groot, you take this draft, I beg you. A calming dream. It will make you feel better. I am part of these men's legend. Leave me be, I say. Uh, doctor's orders, Mina Frau, just drink this. So? Oh, madame oh. is over oh. You see how they fear us, Breikink? That they try to silence us. I demand you leave that lady be, Hyman Hager. 
You say you are Katarina van der Decker. I can prove it. Do not do this. You see this? Pairs are breaking. Do you know it? What? A pendant I've never seen before. This is madness, Mene. You're right, yeah, but she's barking. He will know it. Your captain will know it. Take it here. You cannot give the pendant to them, Katarina. I will do what I want. They are not corporal. They cannot take it. Willem van der Decken gave this to his wife the day before he left her, never to return. It has a piece of holy cross. Tell him, say I am here. And he will know it? He must know it. It comes by the hand of the woman he deserted. That woman, my wife? As she says. Are we then home? Safe to our loved ones? If Frau Katerina says truth. So, must this then be the wreck of time? Is your oath worked out at last? That defiance which damned us all. Your oath, van der Decken. And why should it be you who comes home like this? Why not the rest of us condemned out of your own mouth? Why couldn't it have been Breuking's wife, say, out there, come to set us free? But it isn't. The talisman she wears. The proof. I gave it her. It is a silver pendant. It will be gold. Soon. Vilda, you must prepare the ship to receive the bride. Wait, wait. You bring her aboard? Are we cursed, Vilda? We're told so. And we have the evidence of our own experience. Sailing but nowhere. Nor eating, nor drinking, no disease. Our only rest in sleep. And always refused by other ships the letters we wave, imploring passage for our news to families they tell us are long dead. Do you say they lie to us? I cannot know. Or have we imagined the passage of seasons? So many we lost count. What choice then but to believe those crews of ever stranger ships till their fear of us has become what we expect? We who can't even swear by... till by little our fear of ourselves has become only a terrible commonplace. That we were damned, we know. They told us. But now, Frau Katerina is here. So how is that, Captain? I I cannot know. Our world was flat. Now it's been declared a sphere. Where does that leave us? A speck on the surface of its lost oceans. Still, as we were and shall be. Prepare the ship to receive my wife. Your wife. It's always you, van der Decken. It is my ship. It is your curse. Then your burden is mine to lift. It is my guilt. I swore only to bring us home. I will do it now. Prepare the ship to receive my wife. But Frau Katarina, remember, your husband awaits you in Durban, on land, in port. I implore you, Mino Frau, drink this. You will not understand, will you? We understand all too well what a danger we're in already. Danger? How much danger can you mean, do we? Oh, idiot woman. Oh, dear. That is his ship, the Flying Dutchman. Do you all pretend not to know it? We know it with too much certainty. Now, will you calm yourself? You will be the cause of a panic among your fellow Why passengers. Why should I care about that? Are you blind aboard this ship? No, they all stare at this performance of yours. Drink, Mina Take that away from me! Oh. Oh. Oh, that was not a good thing to do for our Groot. I will go to him. If it's a phantom ship, you cannot board. You say. You know the story as well as I. Oh, God, how much better. Tell me, do it. what your grandmother told you. Did she tell of his redemption, how he might be saved? She never did. The Dutchman doomed to sail eternity and never come to land. A bastard tale! Mon the truth! Willem van der Decken may come home. Katerina, he has no home, home left. Home is where the heart lies. Oh, do we have to endure platitudes like this? All right, then. I understand the man of business has no home, does he? His heart is with his money. If he has a home, it's a bank. You must restrain her, Doctor. His family is his home. I am his family. I bear his name. You took your husband's name, Frau Groot, not van der Decken. Your husband is a farmer. I am here. I can save him. He waits for you at the Cape, Frau Groot. He waits for me there. You will see him when we make port. I will go to him now. No, you no, cannot no. mean to swim. No, he will send a boat. You will not be able to board. Will you try to stop me? We must. Some help here, you gentlemen, please. Let me go. It is for your own good. And ours, God knows. I must work his story out. It is not your story, Frau Groot. Mine. His. I will go. You cannot make it. Let stop. me go. Stop. Help me here. <gasps> It is 
siren call, Katarina. You must not go. What do you want? News. For me or from me? Both. So you want me to start, hey? Whatever. You go first then. Uh, the big strong box you died for yesterday? Broke it open, did you, Henrik? Me and Anders. Guess what was in it? Nix. Gold man full. Yes! I tell you, <laughs> our backers are pleased to bust themselves. They ought to be. So we got permission to do the full works on this here wreck. Good, eh? Good. Good. You didn't find anything in that logbook I brought up, did you? Ah, uh, fell to pieces. As soon as Anders opened it up, caca and scully that he is. So much for your ideal story then, Henrik. Ah, uh, who gives a toss? The backers, they've got gold, haven't they? Isn't the whole ship stuffed with it? That's the ideal story as far as they're concerned. Still, would it be nice to have known? Ah, uh, old tales. If they met the Flying Dutchman or not, nobody cares, Pete. You strip out that half an hour wreck, that's all that matters. Every last piece of cash, eh? You hear? I hear you, boss. Happy dive! Isn't it always? Flying Dutchman by Roger Danes. Willem van der Decken was played by Owen Teal. Katerina Groot and Katerina van der Decken by Elaine Claxton. De Witt, Hugh Kermode. Lamartine, Olivia Pierre. Genevieve, Tina Gray. Broikink, John Everts. Wilder, Derek Waring. Frambos, Malcolm Ward. Gelder, Lyndon Gregory. De Vries by Peter Yap. Villion by Daniel Davis, Reichart, Russell Floyd, Jakob, Richard Pierce, Masson, David Jarvis, and Dr. Neutzen by Peter Whitman. The Flying Dutchman was directed by Adrian Bean.